Bullet is shot horizontally over level ground. The initial height is 1.89 meters and its initial speed is 200 meters 50 per second. Okay, part A asks that we compute how much time in seconds elapses before the bullet hits the ground. Okay, so in the vertical direction, we have an initial speed of zero because the bullet was shot horizontally and we have an acceleration of gravity equals to 9.8. So we have something like this. The bullet is fired. Has initial velocity V0 that is all in the X direction. It is fired a height of 1.89 meters. So it moves in the X direction for as long as it is falling. Once it hit the ground, we assume it no longer moves. So to find the time of flight, we simply need to find how much time does it take for gravity to move the bullet down to the ground a distance of H. If you recall, we have an equation that looks like this, y minus y0 is equal to v0y times time plus one half your acceleration in the y direction times the time squared. Now again, all of the velocity is in the positive x direction, so there's no component in the y direction, meaning this part is equal to zero. Now, y minus y0, well, that's going to be equal to the height. And my acceleration in the y direction is gravity. So then I have that h is equal to 1 half a t squared, where a is my acceleration due to gravity. I just solve for time, so that means that time is equal to 2 h over g square root. Uh, putting down the calculator with the numbers that I was given, that gives me a time of 0 0.062 seconds. For part B, I want to find how far does the bullet travel. Well, I know how long it travels for, which is this time or time of flight. So, um, as you see how far it goes in the x direction, I know its speed in the x direction, so x is going to be equal to x0 plus v0 x times time plus one half ax t squared. Now I know that I start at x equals zero. Uh, I know that I have some initial speed in the x direction. And I know there's no acceleration in the x direction because gravity only works in the vertical direction. So I have x equals to v zero x times time. I know my time. I found that to be 0.62 seconds. I know my initial speed of 250 meters per second. And so that uh, gives me a distance of 